Wow. Mm. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm not a punch a woman in the face. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh. Column Tyrrell podcast, a very special edition of AMA. <laughs> that means ask me Anton. Ask you what? Ask me Anton. <laughs> <laughs> ask me Anton. And the man. Ask me Anton. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a stroke. That's how you say it in Ireland. Ask me Anton. Anyway, um, so what we do is this is a series that we've been having so far. Last time we did it was a, a stoned AMA. Hit episode. Where we, we were hit some weird bong thing. Well, I got fucking smart. We all got fucking annihilated, dude. Yeah, did we even? I can't even remember if we just abandoned ship and uploaded the next day or whatever. What did we do? I have no idea. But yeah, anyway, so go back and check out that episode. Um, and this today is the drunk AMA. So we've put out questions on Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, Twitter, fucking LinkedIn, TikTok, <laughs> 4chan, <laughs> Carrier Pigeon. We were just on the street asking people to. <laughs> we did a man on the street questions for Colum. That would have been incredible, actually, if we had like, sent you guys out on a man on the street saying, hey, any questions for the host? And then we would play him back for the first time. We'd tell him it's for Jimmy Fallon. Something like that. Oh, wait, I'd, I'd pass it on. I'll pass it on. I'm not Jimmy, but I'm the next best thing. I'm close to it. <laughs> a drunk who's been on the Tonight Show? <laughs> what else is going on? <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lot going on with it, Jimmy. Yeah. So we're, do, we're doing this question. I, usually we did the episodes end with um, the regular episodes every week end with the Patreon, questions for the Patreon. Um, so, But today we opened up to the floor to, to everyone. Um, if you want to get some questions in in future, head off to patreon.com slash where you get an extra two episodes a week of the podcast available in 4K Woo. sometimes. If the, if the computer can handle it. We've also got a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, plus all the back catalogue of the Column Terror podcast, Patreon episodes, plus the back catalogue of my old podcast, The Wizard of Pod. Golden oldies. The golden oldies. Are, they're, they're crushing. The Patreon crew is crushing it. Also, at 40 Patreon subscribers. 400. 400 Patreon subscribers. We're going to head down to an Eagle's tailgate. And I'm telling you, the season's almost over, guys. So I need you to hurry the fuck up and give me a fiver. All right? Um, no, but the second half of this episode, we're going to do the first half. We're going to answer a bunch of questions. Then we're going to be moving over to the Patreon for the second half yes. of the episode. So if you want to really see... Um, who knows how bad I could, I will get. There's like 35 beers in that fridge. I think we'll be fine. Okay. I'm a- Kidman! <laughs> Kidman! <laughs> I want you! I'm gonna take your fucking neck off! <laughs> you, you're dead! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Who knows what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> the famous last words does me getting arrested somehow <laughs> me and Fonzie get into a fist fight <laughs> it's inevitable <laughs> now that's content they would pay for yeah yeah of course Fonzie's just like the earth is flat just, I don't, I'm like I'm telling you I promise you I saw the shadow of the moon it's not <laughs> Yeah, so head over there. Also, there might be with the episode, we've upgraded all the equipment recently. Thank you very much again from the Patreon. I couldn't do it without you. Um, but obviously, as with all technology, none of us here are, um, you know, technology guys. <laughs> and, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Preaching the fucking quiet. None of us are technology guys, which is... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I'm just, we're not those guys. <laughs> the guy <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> <Didi bar, laughs> uh, none of us are technology. <laughs> And so uh, we don't really know what we're doing here. So there's a little bit of lag sometimes, but thank God we're not really going to be dancing too much. But if you're watching on the YouTube channel, um, there's a there, there might be a little bit of a lag at times. It shouldn't be that too bad. But so if if you, if, if that bothers you, just turn you know go out to the car, to go out to the car, put the audio on, and uh, anyway that was uh, through, through the power of editing. <laughs> 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 well, welcome back. I mean we didn't go anywhere. Um, yeah and. Like we said, this is a series that we do. And if you think that we should let us know what we should be taking on the next AMA. Bath so, salts. <laughs> wait, do they still do that? 
in Florida, I think. They still do bath salts? I don't know. We could do them, though. We just eat Dave's face off. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I, <laughs> a lot of my friends ended up in the funny farm over all that shit. Oh, no. I was, I'm was. i not being mm. serious. I don't want to do bath salts. What, are you gay? Oh, now I have to do it. <laughs> Fuck! Now I... Yeah. <laughs> Get over there, David! Get over here! And everyone actually got help to David cam today. Look at this. Everyone look at David's nice fucking eyes. <laughs> oh, say hi, guys. So fucking David's such a dope, right? First of all, we did the Halloween episode like, a few days ago. David fucking refused to dress up. Too cool. Too, too cool for school. Uh, try, hey, fuck, like, go Red Sox or whatever the fuck he showed up. Is that, is that Boston? Red yeah, Sox? Yeah, yeah, you nailed it. He was like, no, nah, dude. What am I, queer? And then, uh, so he, as punishment, his camera is, is off his fucking eyes. You never be on camera, David. You fucking dope. <laughs> Look how funny that is. That's the funniest thing anyone's ever done in the history of podcasting. It's for anyone listening, the camera is uh, tilted, so it's just cutting off his face. So you just see his hat, which is a, looks like he got it free at a college event. At a job fair. D-Tech, yeah. A cancer screening? Oh, God. <laughs> Yikes. Did they find anything? <laughs> He's good. He's good, ladies and gentlemen. Now it was a mole. <laughs> it was just a mole. Um, anyway, yeah, so David's over there. We're all, so we're going to be drinking. We're going to be answering these questions. But leave a comment below um, if what you think we should be doing on the next episode. Um, be, bear in mind, I've never done heroin. I will never. I've ne all right. Well, never. What, if, what, if the, what if the people vote? We live in a democracy. We're not in fucking North Korea. Fonzie, right? Damn. If the people in the comments say um, heroin episode, <laughs> we have no choice. Nah, we smoking it. Okay, fine. No injections. <laughs> we just go out front. With the we're fucking... just like it's like an hour. First of all, it would be <laughs> it would be one question, and then we're all and uh, just zombies out of our head. <laughs> we could do a meth episode. It would be fourteen hours long. <laughs> just just crush Adderall. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it's a if it's a bold boy drug though, we can't be having that out in the public. Hemisphere. No, there's no way. But um, the bath salts uh, for a while in Ireland, it, it there was like a they noticed there was like a loophole, some sort of stuff where you could sell like drugs, um, under the guise or the pretense of whatever. So like bath salts were one, plant feed was another one. So you'd go in and go like, give me a gram of fucking plant feed fertilizer and it would be like this like uh, you wouldn't even know if it was what it was it was coke or something or speed and you'd sniff it and it would make your nose bleed but you'd party all night fuck yeah and uh, they had like legal weed who again that was like supposed to be like you're supposed to plant it and you could smoke it and it was like synthetic weed what was that like salvia I guess so but it caused yeah. a lot of people to get fucked it up it gets you like trippy right well, yeah but, but there was a time so they, these head shops became crazy so they, they had to like have like armed security at night because it was like they were getting so much cash and like you couldn't get they you was like you had to go through like one of those like you know like, yeah, there like, was like a double sided like door. at a gas station at night and you walk up and you go yo give me fucking give me uh give me fifty dollars worth of uh, plant feed give me uh, <laughs> twenty give me, regular yeah give me twenty fucking <laughs> bath salts and whatever and you'd just be getting fucking mashed and then the the, the then the gangs start taking over because this was like legal and then all the regular drug dealers started getting put out of business so they started petrol bombing which is like a, what you call a Molotov? Molotov cocktail. Molotov cocktail. Mm. Which, whew, if, if you wrote, that's like a fucking bar. That's a bar. Molotov cocktail. Woo. <laughs> that, that's all I do is I just say the word. <laughs> Molotov cocktail. I'll, and, and, you know, and so on. I'll come back and finish the rap. Right, right. Um, yeah, exactly. So we'd, we'd pep, petrol bomb is what we call it. And uh, yeah, war, all war broke out. And so then eventually the, the guards came in with, for fuck's sake. Only illegal drugs. <laughs> and now it's back to the way back to the way it was. Yeah, they sent sent a couple of lads to the loony bin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think though, it's, uh, but regular drugs is that too. Regular illegal drugs. I smoke yeah. like w good weed, and I feel like I need to be fucking. But if you have borderline psychosis or something, it, right. can, it can trigger it. <sighs> I'm told. Well, that's what seems to be happening. Mm. I've got like the borderline depression that comes out. This, this, crushy, crushy. Crushy, crushy. See you later. What's that? Depression? Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Get out of our. We don't want your time. We don't like your kind here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sad we're, folks. We're, we're burning plus signs <laughs> in, your, in, the, in the depression. <laughs> Spreading positivity. Don't we? I don't want my kids. They know depression. <laughs> this is. No a, negatives. That's what this is. This is. Get out of here. We let these negatives out of here. <laughs> 
<laughs> we don't want my daughter dating no negatives. And then, <laughs> with their poor outlooks. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> We're a happy neighborhood. Woo. Yeah, we're wholesome values. So that's what uh, that's what this is. That's what beer is. Beer is a pure like get the fuck out of him. Hell yeah! I run up on you. We're gonna head across to the negatives neighborhood and fucking beat one up. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> just a couple of boys in a truck. A couple of good old fashioned boys in a truck. Beer. Yo. But then weed is very much like, come on, man. We're all the same, man. Let the negatives in, and then next thing you know. You're, you're, you've Everyone's got, depressed. Next thing you know, you're lying in a pool of your own self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that, dude. You do not want that at all. Get out of here, weed. <laughs> yeah. It does. Though. Weed, weed, weed fucking definitely makes the self-introspective yeah, whatever. Yeah, it makes you a pussy, honestly. It, it can do, but like say if I interact, here's the thing, if I interact with, I don't smoke weed at all like anymore now because it's just, it's too many times. I just can't feel like that enough. Let's say we just have a, a little interaction and it's like a little bit of a, I look like a little bit of a fool or, or something. So yes, if you, if you go some- to me, if you turn around to me and he's like, I don't like you because of this, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. You are a worthless gay piece of shit. I don't give a fuck no, about you. All right, dude. No, no, but not not like homo, not like homosexual. But you know, I mean, like someone I don't like. You know? And and now I get home and then I'm just smoking weed. I'm just like in bed watching The Crown with my girl. And next thing you know, I was like, nobody likes me. And no, 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 no. Oh, why would I liked? <laughs> and the, the beer is like, get that fucking, I'll fucking kill you. Bury it down. Bury those negative feelings. Get them out of here. You on your second? I'm waiting for you, Daddy O. And I, well, listen, there was one time, I want to talk to this before we get into the questions. There was one time in Ireland when they changed the drug laws. And I was here, unfortunately. So it must have been 2014 or 2015. I was living in America. They changed the, the law. They, they, they made a upgrade or whatever you want to call it um, to with the law with drugs. An amendment. I guess an amendment. They just sort of changed something right. to just improve it to the modern era. Okay. And whatever way they dated it, they dated it wrong or something. So that for technically for 24 hours, drugs were legal in <laughs> Ireland. So everyone went fucking nuts. Jesus. I don't know if it was like a leap year thing or something, <laughs> but Google that. Just get that up because I was here. I missed it. People but just purged with drugs for an hour. It was the hour. fucking drug pur- purge. Oh dude. my God. Which is, by the way, usually just like the same amount of drugs you're always doing anyway. Right. <laughs> like <it's> not, <laughs> you just like take a, a walk to the store <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have it. Does the two, the, the, traditionally there used to be two days in Ireland where they won't open the pubs and you're not allowed to buy alcohol. It's Christmas day. And then Good Friday. On Christmas, oh, I guess that makes Christmas sense. Christmas Day is That's clo- a universal day off. It's just, there's two days there, they're, they're closed. Mm-hmm. And traditionally then, so what you would do is on Good Friday, everyone would have throw house parties and you would end up buying more beer the day before for Good Friday and you would go nuts. Everyone would go crazy because like, right. the pubs are closed, let's have a party. But so, so, so like these rules are like to like, you're not allowed, like you can't buy alcohol anywhere. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Look on, the, read that, read that out to us there, David, and make sure you have the camera on your face. <laughs> Please. Uh, so <laughs> too uh, much. You gotta hire it. Hire that camera. <laughs> get your head. Get that. Fuck. I'll just sink down. Uh, in March 10th of 2015, the Irish government accidentally legalized the myriad of drugs, <laughs> including. There we go. This is good. Uh, ketamine, ecstasy. We've all that's had good, one that's beer. Good. Uh, ketamine, ecstasy, no, crystal meth. Yeah, Fonzie's ability to change the camera <laughs> live on air is wild. Blur that out and post. <laughs> <laughs> Right, go on. So go back to again. We weren't listening at all. We we're all watching the your, the camera angle. Of the- <laughs> March tenth, twenty fifteen. Irish government acts. All right. No, I want you to read this fucking thing. What was this? March tenth, twenty fifteen. Uh, Irish government. It was the best of times. Yeah. It was the worst of times. March tenth, twenty fifteen. They legalized ketamine, ecstasy, crystal meth, and mushrooms. Uh, the mistake happened due to a legal loophole in the nineteen seventy seven Misuse of Drugs Act. Uh, and therefore, all 125 drugs that were prohibited were accidentally legalized. Yeah. Yeah, despite the government's best efforts to reverse the accidental decision as quickly as possible, the long list of Class A drugs are legal to buy. It became National Yolks Day. 
Oh, yolks. Couple of yolks. Oh, yolks. A yolk is an ex a tablet, knee tablet. Oh, okay. Yolks, any yolks? Couple of yolks with the blokes. Any yolks, boys? Yeah, so uh, back in the day, yo, I've done more ecstasy tablets than you've had hot cum dinners. <laughs> David. <laughs> I've had. What, you thought he was talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, dude, next he, Dave's gonna shoot us up. Dude. Yeah, we're brewing up a Boston rage, dude. Yeah, yeah. and David's, David's a serial killer, dude. We went on the road the other day and he was telling me all these great stories that we'll get to someday but about him being a paramedic and just like he shows up and just looks like someone been in a car crash, head decapitated, you know? Oh, and he has to, like, Lord. He's like the... the he fucking picks up the head and rolls off down the hill and he's chasing Shut after it. No. <laughs> Kicking it like, oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, every time Benzo, he kicks it. Like, <laughs> like a party trick. He, he picks it up. The guy's looking. Puts, it, puts his hand in it. <laughs> like a your, crab claw. No, he's like us, moving the tendons. Give, give it's like us, opening his mouth. Give us your hat for a second. <laughs> Thanks to magic tricks with the fucking head. Like, whoa, oh. And then he, goes, uh, he goes, oh, look. Where's my pen? <laughs> oh, <laughs> putting it here in its mouth. <laughs> whoop, whoop, doing the cigarette thing. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, but he's telling me all these stories about those like horrific, horrible. Because that's he, he's in a very that's crazy. I don't know, violent is the word, but it's certainly up in that gruesome it's, for sure. It's a gruesome job, but like <laughs> after a while, it's just like whatever kind of you know, <laughs> like you just <laughs> yeah. no, because you have to be. It's all day. Yeah, you know, it's just it's all day. It's just yeah, any like any job becomes monotonous. Yeah, it's like me going off Jimmy Fallon. It's like whatever, <laughs> not big deal. But it's like you when you ever you see it it a. a, a, a a, a home abortion went wrong. Yeah, he just shows up and goes, whatever. I hope I'm finished for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he's like scraping up blood guts or whatever. <laughs> he's just someone's skull. He's, a, he's trying to, you know, like the way you pick up dog shit with a bag, reverse bag. <laughs> he's just reverse bagging someone's skull into a thing going, uh, do you want to get Chipotle? To the <laughs> he's on the phone. I can't talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy shot himself in the head. <laughs> Have you ever had people sh shoot themselves in the head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The when you show when there's just everywhere, like blood, every, head yeah, everywhere. Not, yeah. Head everywhere. Yes. Oh, wow. yeah. Let's pay, we'll save it for the Patreon. Head everywhere is awful. Head everywhere is an, and the nickname. Head anywhere fun. though. <laughs> I, I, I meant to say that's Fonzie's girlfriend's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> lovely lady. Lovely, lovely lady. Lovely woman. She's one of the lovely ladies of the. <laughs> we should have a the lovely lady competition. <laughs> Bringing all the bitches, dude. <laughs> Little lovely lady competition. Yeah, ladies love. <laughs> I think a lovely lady competition for the episode would be fun. We bring in a couple of chicks. We have like, not a bikini episode, but. That could be a Thailand exclusive. Oh yeah. When I got to Thailand, I'll do a lovely lady competition. I'll lovely li lady boy competition. I'll, I'll live stream a podcast from Thailand with my hotel <laughs> with five whores. And then, and, and then I go, all right, guys, you said you do anything. And they're like, anything. And then I'm like, all right. Fastest one to iron these shirts. It wins the first round. <laughs> first of three wins. Go, go, go. Roll I'll give you this dollar. Roll go. Out, roll out on Benton, like Squid Games. But it's just like chores for a wife. <laughs> the winner you take home and give citizenship. Yeah, well, that, that, that'll be on you, boys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll take, you, she's like, you marry me? I can't citizenship. It's like, you and me and Bo, baby. <laughs> you and me, Bo. <laughs> Um, all right, let's get to these questions. We're on beer number two. I need to piss already. All right, so um, any experience with BookFast? That this is from an Instagram question from the double official. Great question. BookFast is a drink I've never even had, to be honest. It's an Irish drink. You can Google it there and have it, get it up on the screen for people. BookFast, I guess it's, a, it's like a, a bum wine. You know what bum wine is? Just cheap fucking shit. E every every like country in the world has a bum wine. Um, so this is it. It's like just it's a fermented wine. So it's like a fizzy wine and it's cheap and it gets you fucked up mm. and it's nasty. But they don't drink it. A tonic wine, they call it. Yeah. But like every country in the world has a fizzy wine that a homeless guy screaming at the sky will be drinking. Yeah, I'm you gonna know, know the American equivalent to that. I guess like, like, like what? What did we say? Like, I said, 45? I said, cold forty five, which is a malt liquor. Yeah, Google, like a forty ounce of Old English. Yeah, Google, but we didn't drink them in Dublin. We ne I never heard about anyone from Dublin drinking it. We all had our. What own about drink. like if you were a kid? Like it's cheap. You get your hands on it. Like it's like something your parents wouldn't notice going I, missing. I, I, I don't think uh, there's no way any family should have that in their house. There's no <laughs> way that if if you grew up in a household where your parents had that and you stole it, you you should that's child services level. <laughs> 
you know what's funny? CPS. So I don't know about you guys when you would steal booze mm -hmm. as children, right? Yeah. yeah so of did course. you have a liquor cabinet? Yeah. What was in it? Just like a handle of Captain Morgan, and always there was always Carlo Rossi. Ooh. Red wine. That's like the Italian, like grease ball, cheap wine. Oh, that's wine. the, 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 the family big bottle. jug yeah. with the fucking handle. I on love it. a family it's bottle. It's so of wine. good. I love a family. You ever got the so carmine? Good. Carmines? Carmines now. We should go to Carmines and eat some fucking family, fucking family style meals. The big ass plates. They yeah. give you huge plates. Uh -huh. The food's fine. Yeah, it's more and like, but it's built like you think it's like wow. They must have built this in like the 1920s and because it, it's like full of all these old memorabilia. Yeah. They built it in like 2015. Yeah, like, like 10 the, years ago. Remembering those who fell from 9-11. It's like, dude, you, you, <laughs> the towers were long gone by the time you showed up. But they, they sell those big bottles like for the thing. And the then they table wine is called. Yeah, table wine. Little mm -hmm. tiny glasses. Almost Dip like, your bread in there. Almost like shot glass. I don't do that, but I've seen That's people do that. That's some real grease ball shit. I, I will do it just to pretend I'm like a it's beginning. So good. But it, it's, it's actually I don't good. Like it. It's actually good. <laughs> No. They got one of these in Atlantic City, so nah, it's they a can't be that it's, good. A, it's, a, it's a shitty tacky chain, but it's a right. fun it's a fun day. We'll, yeah. go, we'll go there someday. I'll bring the I'll treat your boys to it. Don't worry about it. Between skirt steak and carmines, you're living it up. What? A couple of <laughs> couple of BLs with my boys, dude. <laughs> Woo! It's early. It's we're day drinking. Um so Google bum wine and see what else the equivalent is. All right, but what I was saying is when I was growing up drinking alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. The way the way it would work is most people would steal liquor from their parents. So let's say they had a bottle of fucking Tito's in the in the, the cabinet. cabinet. People go in and they they would pour a bunch of vodka into like a fucking Coke bottle, like or whatever, a water bottle, and yeah. then sneak out with it. Uh -huh. But then in order to stop your parents from getting from catching you, people would refill it with water. Yep. My sister used to do that, and then one day apparently uh, my granny showed up and uh, ha pour and asked for a fucking vodka. And then they pour it out for her, and my granny's like, this is just water. <laughs> she spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, I haven't a water, I haven't touched a drop of water in 20 years. <laughs> um, uh, oh, Mad Dog 2020, for sure that's the equivalent. For sure that's the equivalent. That's like a sparkly one. MD 2020, like homeless guys always drink that. Which one is that? The Can one dead center. This guy MD, MD 2020 It's called Mad Dog Yeah that's probably the same That's absolutely it's, the it's, same Bum wine is all It's international bum wine Just straight sugar and alcohol Yeah they've got something in them um, They drink it in uh, that you, you know that Scottish movie About the heroin addicts Fucking uh, Transpotting Transpotting yeah, Classic they, there's, a, there's a scene in that Where they're all drinking The, the, the equivalent of Bookfast Or whatever and it, But in my family Because no one drank liquor There wasn't There wasn't any just brewskis. There was no, there was no open bottles for mm. us to steal from. But my dad, every year, for Christmas, for, for some of the construction companies that he worked for or whatever, they would give you like a large bottle of Jameson. Right. And so there was one drawer we had that was just had like thirteen bottles of Jameson. <laughs> so I just like one, one day I just stole a whole bottle yeah. and just like snuck off with it, and then I would like hide it. And so I would empty. I would no, I would sneak out of the house with the bottle, and then I, I would hide it like in a bush. In the park. So you drink some of it. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And then you yeah. hide it in a bush. And then in you the come park. Yeah, and then you come back like the next day and check on it. You check on it every day like yeah. you're a, like a like a newborn bird. <laughs> yeah, like a nest. Dude, I, I gave it. Your here. baby bird and all your boys. Yeah, take I'm a like, shot, take a shot. I'm not going in there. Oh, oh, my God, he's getting so big. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, so I just stole all the fucking bottles. Eventually, I think, I'm pretty sure I took every single. All, when, I was, up. when I was 15 years old, I must have, there was one like winter from 15 to 16 years old, I must have went through eight or nine bottles. Just of said, fuck it and started taking them. Yeah. I just, cause it was better to take the whole thing. Cause if I had taken half of it and left it, they go, where'd half this bottle go? Right. But there's no way they, they knew how many bottles were there. And then actually got to the certain point where they never brought it up. I'm pretty sure people just forgot. And you probably just got old enough. It's like, didn't even matter. Yeah. They're like, oh, he just definitely took a bottle of Jameson and went to yeah. the park. I, I got fucked cause I was the youngest kid. Right. Because so what happens is when you're, let's say you're, 12 or 13 mm -hmm. you have these tricks to get around your parents and then eventually one day when you get like 18 or 19 you tell your parents oh you know what i used to do to you and they go oh really <laughs> they go <laughs> and i'm just like i'm still 13 motherfucker I, no I, I can't do this thing <laughs> my sister was like oh yeah we used to lie and say we we're like at my friend's house we'd be all out in the park drinking all that and she's like oh really and then i'd be like hey ma'am go to my friend's house she's like let me talk to the mother and i'm like oh yeah she uh, lost her tongue in an accident <laughs> and it's actually very rude of you to, <laughs> <laughs> to assume she could speak jeez mom don't be so ableist <laughs> There was loads of shit like that, you know? There was loads of shit like that I couldn't get away with, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
But then again, as the youngest, I'm also the youngest. It's like they kind of just look past it because they're just like, ah, they'll be fine, whatever. Yeah. Every every they had a rule in my family that when once you turn 16, you're allowed to drink. They wouldn't hold it against yeah. you. They just want you to drink safely or whatever. And uh, for me, they had that. And then once I got to like about 15, I was the last one. They said, whatever. <laughs> They said, have a drink, it's a it, holiday. Who gives a fuck, we're done. It's it Good was, Friday or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they, they really raised me like a Friday afternoon at work. <laughs> 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 instead of just, ah, I'm, a, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Yo. You fucking mad dog. Yeah, anyway, so that's the bum wine. So that was a great question. That was a great question there. So let me cross that off the list. Too. <laughs> right. The old right. bum wine. <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt the show, but it, we I was just reminded that um, I had to do an ad read, and I am bollocksed. So um, I'm going to read some words to you. First of all, first of all, I can't get hard when I'm sober. I can't get hard when I'm so. Are you kidding me? What, are you gay? Getting hard when you're sober is a gay thing to do. Getting hard for pussy is a gay <laughs> thing to do. So this ad is by Blue Chew. Remember when you were a teenager and you could get rock hard boners in the blink of an eye? Uh, yes, I do remember that. But I'm 32 now. <laughs> I, I I can't get hard I could, for my money. I could... A million dollars. For million. <laughs> oh, for the Patreon money? <laughs> for $402? I couldn't get hard. <laughs> no, I got... For $402, I cannot get hard. You kidding me? Yo, show me a photo of your, of your wife. <laughs> All right, no, 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 no. <laughs> honestly, honestly, everyone used to bully me. Everyone used to bully me. And genuinely, shut up. Everyone used to bully me Aww. and make fun of my weak dick. <laughs> and then I, uh, then, I, then I got on uh, fucking Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> and yeah, I hate to bring it up, but I've been, I've been hard since then. <laughs> and then, and then everyone was, was like, yo, Colin has such a hard dick. But the truth is, the truth is, Jimmy Fallon didn't make my dick hard at all. It was blue shoe. I've been fucking juicing. I've been juicing the whole time. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. Be honest. I'd rather get it up for an ugly bitch than be soft for a fucking hot cunt. It is what it is. Oh, my God. I've been on TV. <laughs> Blue Chew is an online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. I know Cialis. I've heard that in a rap. I've heard that in a rap. <laughs> What's the name of that black guy? I love him. Black Mamba? No. <laughs> the guy goes, I can't see you. But in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost... Honestly, it's chewable. I don't like to chew it. It it tastes like shit. But if you swallow it, it's okay. And I've taken Blue Chew tablets in the past, and it made my fucking face flush. I get I get Asian, Asian flush. flush yes. I get Asian flush yeah. from Blue Chew tablets. But you, this is how good they are. You can go, hey, Mister Blue Chew, and he goes, please, Mister Chew was my father. He they they will replace it. For me and you, who are weak people, we will, because we get we blow out in, mm, we blow out, and we get red face. We get red face, and it's not fun. But you can ask them for a change if you if you're like me and have an allergic reaction to blue chew. They will change it so that it fit fits you, and that's the truth. And they have done that to me. And I rang him up one day, so I go, yo, I look like I fucking ran a marathon. And he goes, oh, I'll change it, I'll change it. I'll change it. And then I've also, I've, I've tried to fuck my girl one time. And she was like, ugh, you look like you're fuck, your face is disgusting. Breaking out. Breaking out in a rash. And I, but it wasn't me. 
It was a fucking blue chew. <laughs> I I only are you kidding me? Why would I take a blue chew if it was for you? So I don't know if it's a blue <laughs> chew. Oh my God. If you scroll, you scroll. So that's bluechew.com promo code <laughs> column C O L U M to receive your first month free. Free? Are you kidding me? I'll tell you this also, boys. A month's worth of free, uh, blue chew? That'll last two years. <laughs> You're kidding, dude. Dude, I know, I know what you look like. You look like me. A month's worth of blue chew will last for years. So that's bluechew.com, promo code COLUM, C O L U M, to receive your first month uh, free. Back to the show. Feel free to say something while I'm drinking, just so it's not like a horrible dad air. Yeah, Fonzie, mad dog. Fonzie, Fonzie. You know what else was like Fonzie mad dog? <laughs> I was thinking, mm. I just get caught in mm. thoughts. I know. The, the, the hurt! And so mad, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, Four Loco, you ever drink Four Loco? I've never had one, though. That came out like when I was like 12 years old. Yeah. And it was the easiest thing to get. It was like $4 a can. We would go to like the high school football field like at like midnight yeah. and yes. just sit in the bleachers. I remember drinking the Four Loco. And like by the end of it, me and like four boys just fell asleep on the bleachers, <laughs> like wake up to a cop shining a spotlight. Like, hey, get out of here. We're like throwing the Four Locos running out. Oh, that'd be great. I always wanted to do that. And like I always wanted to go drink at like a high school football game, mm -hmm. sit in the back of a truck, look at the stars, and I make plans with my high school sweetheart. Oh man, that's like a the American like, that, that's dream. an American thing. Where they just go, you know, I'm gonna get out of this town. She's oh, like, dude. She goes, yeah, but first you gotta be Old Bay this weekend. <laughs> old Bay. <laughs> he goes, I don't even know if I like football. <laughs> I think my dad wants me to do it. So I'm gonna oh, be a dancer. I'm gonna be a veterinarian. <laughs> he goes, well, you do whatever you want, Nathan. <laughs> I still love <laughs> you, <laughs> Nathan. Meanwhile, she's holding then, your boy's she's hand. Like, no, she goes, Nathan, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic American bullshit. Damn, that would be another one, to, without a doubt. I, you know what? Just we've talked about this with, with the with the podcast. Just if we if we can just get the podcast podcast to get to a certain point where um we can do like these trips. Mm -hmm. I've got so many planned. Oh, yeah. Like um obviously we don't want to go to the Eagles game and all that, but we're, we're we're so close. We just if we can just double everything. Oh, we we we're gonna be kicking it, boys. Yeah, so we plush. So we already have. Uh, Irish Town was it or P Murphy's Village with the travelers? Oh my God! Yeah, in Georgia. Dude, did I not tell you some guy DM me? Not a not a traveler. No, no, they can't write. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> alley you <laughs> slam dog. We worked on that. <laughs> we were, that We're practicing was, all week. That was one of our little pre-written ablibs. <laughs> <laughs> Come up after the break. Um, no, some guy messaged me from Augusta. So go back and check out the whatever episode we talked about. Beautiful that, down there. Uh, where the Murphy's Village with the Irish Travelers were. And he told me he grew up there. And he, like he grew up near them. And he and he told us all about their fucking... He said some wild shit. Can can that transpire on the YouTube episode? Uh, right. What? Now? Can yeah. I talk about it now? I guess I can. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or should we say that? Wanna, I don't want to get over okay, it. Yeah, okay, we'll fine, save that. Fine, fine. But I want to head down there. Yeah. Try to talk to these people. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to go to Texas and go check out one of these like, uh, like the Friday Night Lights towns. Yeah. Like go check out one of these local high school insane places. Well, like a hundred thousand people show up for a high school game. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a hundred thousand. I'm I'm pulling numbers out of my ass. If it's if it's eight thousand, I'd be surprised. That's but, crazy. But, but it's no. there's only a seven thousand population. In the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> again, it's just pure. That, I would that would be fucking sick to go to that. Yeah. That's another one. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Mexico get new teeth. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> Tijuana Donkey Show, maybe. <laughs> Did we talk about that? <laughs> I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I don't think I've heard you mention it. <laughs> so we go, we go Tijuana, watch a guy yeah. get raped by a donkey. Yeah. Or or him rape a donkey, I guess. I don't know what the... Man, look, support the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots of shit coming up. All right. Yeah, absolutely. We're close to 400, so please. $5 a month, <gasps> guys. That's Woo. another BL down. Where are you, Shane Gillis? That's two. <laughs> Shane Gillis, I'm, I'm calling you out. I'm already drunk on two. I'm calling you out, Shane Gillis. Where are you, Rich? Uh, <laughs> I'm wasted. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a question. quick question from Evan McIntyre, again from the Instagram account, my Instagram, personal Instagram. I'm 31. Should I stop drinking beer? Um, I, I guess no. I guess yes, if you're asking. 
You want to? Yeah, if you're asking us for advice to stop drinking beer, the answer is probably yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> well, I don't know, but, but you should stop listening to this podcast for being such a pussy. That's what I tell you. We're drinking beer well in our thirties. I should. Here. I should find them on Instagram right now and block them. How funny would that be? <laughs> find them. Like- he was like our only Pappy Van Winkle member. <laughs> <laughs> find- <laughs> If I find them right now and block them. Just ostracize our most beloved fans. I should block them right now. That's so fucking funny. That'd be so fucking funny just to block them. I go, I'll just hit, I'll just hit them with a slur and be like, yo, yo, you yo, you're blocked. We'll do it afterwards. Remind me to do it later on. Um, uh, what's your body count? Thanks, Manny. 091490. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's north of... Uh, it's more, no, it's, in, it's definitely double figures. It's definitely double digits. I'll tell you that much. Okay, player. Woo! Okay, player, Ooh, player. You kidding me? You ki- I've been off Alan. You kidding me? You kidding? <laughs> That's a conversation I even had with my girlfriend. What's your body count? Oh, yeah. We don't talk about that. No? No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, crazy to me. Yeah. What? Maybe that's maybe that's bad reflection of character then for me. (laughs) Why'd I even say that? Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I remember I did it with my chick, and then she was, and she was like, I think I don't know. I can't remember. I certainly didn't give a fuck anyway. I could not give a fuck. Although I guess if she had more than me, that I would hate that. (laughs) Yo, if 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 a girl had my number, that is a fucking. She's for the streets. For the streets, but us, we're some. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm a legend. I'm a legend, and she's a slut. <laughs> make, make no mistake about it. Well, I don't know. My mind, mine's, um, mine's, mine's up north of a hundred, like close to a hundred, up there. What? Are you bullshitting? No. Okay. Well, is that is that is that does that sound liable? Like I'm lying? No, I guess I guess not. It's like it, it's the last time I remember. You got some years on me too. That makes of sense. Of course I got some, dude. Also, I fucking moved here when I was fucking right twenty four as an Irish That's immigrant, how old I am an now. Irish immigrant bartender who has uh, no standards at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the the, the yeah, pigs, <laughs> if we're doing quantity over quality, then hell yes, brother. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I can't remember what, but it's like you don't keep a journal of every girl ever date name. I will tell you this, and I'll, and I'll tell you no more. <laughs> right. So when when I went to college, when I lived in college, uni, uni, yeah, I, I lived in college, but I was like in a different college. I went there just to graduate or whatever, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. And I was I was living with these female housemates, and they were like, "How many people have you slept?" With? I was like, "I don't know. I don't. I'd never kept count kept right whatever." I also had a girl at the time back in, when I was like nineteen or twenty, which we, and I cheated on her a lot. So I was like, I didn't want to. I didn't want to know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to. You didn't want to snitch on yourself. But I'll tell you one thing: cheating on your ex, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, in the in the in the grand scheme of things, yeah, of course I cheated on her. She's my ex. Yeah, it didn't wasn't going to work out. Of course I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, do you understand yeah. that? Yeah, I did that. I didn't that. To, uh, no, not to you, baby. My ex. She was she wasn't half the woman you are, baby. You're, you're allowed to cheat on your ex girlfriend while you're dating them, and they're your current girlfriend. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying is, you know what I mean? I've never cheated on my I've never cheated on my current girlfriend. A current girlfriend. I only have a cheat on an ex girlfriend. Um, but the point was, I so I sat down and I wrote out like I. I remember trying to think. I remember trying. To, all right, let me try think. Do the back catalog. Yeah, it's tough because you go who the fuck. And so you many know, blackouts. Yeah, and you have like a weird nickname you write down <laughs> where you go like dogface, do, dogface <laughs> ginger. <laughs> I had a girl once I wrote down called Slug Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Slug girl was a bad one. Slug girl should not be in there. You should not be writing down slug girl. Yeah, you can leave that one out. Oof, oof, that was a rough one. But then, so then I, <laughs> but then once I had that, it was like it was very easy then to keep the 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 updates or whatever. And then I had it to a certain point, and I I, I, I think I had it to like fifty, and I just like fuck it, get rid of this. It's like too much of a. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know a definitive number, and it would probably make me feel very bad if I did know. What? I don't know. It just make me feel like a little hero. He's supposed to be. Dude, if I was a fucking Italian. That's the thing. If I was a fucking dirty guinea with Davey, a dick. Davey, Davey, come on. We're trying to tell him. <laughs> if I was a dirty guinea. Imagine if I was a dirty guinea with a big dick going down the shore every. You don't even own a white t shirt, dude. That's where you're going wrong. Dude, my dude. fucking girl is ringing me. Is this live? Is this. <laughs> Are we live streaming? Are we live streaming this? right now? No, baby, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you know we just tell jokes. Yeah, yeah, we're joshing. We're just joshing with you. Sir Josh. Sir Josh. Sir Josh. King Josh of Joshington. Um anyway, yeah, I don't know what the fucking body count is. Who cares? It doesn't even matter. No one really gives a fuck. We get pussy though, make no mistake. Make no are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Look at us, are you kidding? Look at this guy. Awake or not, he don't care. He's taking it. <laughs> what the fuck? Foxy hates her and I tell the truth about his escapades. <laughs> so stop doing that. Um, all right, let's get off this fucking childish conversation. If you could, would you ban King Congdon? City boy, city boy. He wouldn't crack open, kid. That's crazy. You kidding? You nuts? You kidding me? And, all right, check out our Kim Cogden episode. Oh yeah, go on to Kim Cogden. She had the, she looked good. She looked good. She's very funny on that episode. Um, all right, let's get out of the. Uh, we'll we'll go back to Instagram questions later on. Um, here's some questions from the YouTube. How do you feel about Americans who are proudly Irish but have never been to their country? That's a question from Green Gotti, by the way. <laughs> Who's definitely straight from Ireland, he's, would you no, say? No, you know he's a fucking, he's, he's like a, this half Italian, half Irish okay. retard from Boston. He's a Metagon? He, he's like, yo, I'm Gotti, but I'm Irish, so it's a like Green Gotti. Oh. That's worse than fucking Don Fonz, dude. <laughs> That's worse than Fonz the Don. We'll leave that for the Patreon last episode. <laughs> Green Guardian, Green Rap Battle, Roan represents Roan presents fucking Green Guardian versus Fonz the Don. I hate this. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Why don't you? Why don't you roast me in rhyme? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yo, yo, don't you dare. That's Patreon exclusives, nah, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look, go head off to the Patreon if you want to know um, about my past life. God bless you. That's what you get, dude. I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> Is that one of your lines? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, you allergic to this shit. I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> That's terrible. That was terrible. That was in the same vein as whatever you no, no, it was something you would say. <laughs> dude, I was nice with it. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. <laughs> He went, yeah. <laughs> Dave went, yo, yo. <laughs> don't, what would you say now for if, if, if the line was, don't get it twisted? How would you now in your rap brain write, like, let's write a lyric? No, no, I don't want to do this. Like ovarian tubes, don't get it twisted. Ooh. Something like that, like, you know, ovarian tubes, don't get them twisted. Like an infertile woman, don't get it twisted now. A vertel, yeah. My ovarian tubes get twisted. <laughs> That's not twisted bad. like tea. You gonna see? Ooh, <laughs> twisted like tea. I like it. I, I understand it at least. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the camera was on you while you spit beats. <laughs> Flames flowing. <laughs> like tea? I, do you like me? <laughs> what did you say? ABC? One, two, three. <laughs> nice, dude. I think we should have a fucking you versus, uh, what's the other con's name over at um, Crack Amigo? He's actually nice with it. I was I underestimated his, Crack's the good. boy's skills. Crack's good. He's a nice guy. He's good. He's very good. Yeah, well, I'd have him on for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Crack, if you're ever around, please come on the podcast. We'll throw on some tight beats and me and him will just go back and forth. <laughs> Ooh, Crack Amico tight beat. <laughs> People are typing in. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the wrong audience for that. But maybe we should do a special for for charity or something. You and the fucking Fonz the Dawn comes out of retirement with fucking... Crack Amigo featuring Fonz the Don. Dude, it's, it's and a you came out and you go, yo, Big J. <laughs> <laughs> Big J, more big, like Big a, Gay. A butt, a butt in the gut is gay. <laughs> 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 you better watch out. He's on, ask, he's on an improv. 
<laughs> he's on a, you know. Look at him sitting on a stool like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to be pro Big J. We're in that world of a pro Big J. Pro Big J. Big J. He's on a squish, yeah. <laughs> Watch out, he's doing a diss, yeah. <laughs> you know, things like that. I'll be your manager. I'll be your rap manager. Yeah. And we'll figure this out. <laughs> he hates it so much. <laughs> now you know what I like though is when it, when it when it's like a rap. <laughs> he's like just in post, clippy clippy cut cut. <laughs> like in my head. Now you just go, yeah. You're just keeping a mental track of how long this is. And I I look back. I go, episode's pretty short, right? He's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I don't know. We only did forty minutes. We cut from first can to fourth can very fast. <laughs> um, no, when they're doing like you know the fucking a rap battle or whatever mm. and it's always just like all right okay yeah uh okay uh-huh yeah <laughs> like that little part of it uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah like trying right. to catch the beat they go, oh. wait for it yeah yeah mm -hmm. let me feel it yeah the 214 in the house <laughs> shout out <laughs> delaware's degenerates come on coming at you delaware's degenerates <laughs> All right, that was a good question. Glad, thanks for asking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we never even answered the question. Did we? How do you no. feel about Americans who are proudly Irish but have never been to the country? Could not give a fuck. Could not give a fuck. Call yourself whatever you want in this life, all right? Yeah, I've never been to Italy, but I mean. We got men, we got men calling themselves women these days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to be Irish, be Irish. You know, they, they, they cross the line, it's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> Call yourself a fucking dog at this point. <laughs> the furry community, dude, don't come at the furry community like that. Mm. What do you know about the furry community? I know they're all fucking giving each other chlamydia. Oh, yeah. The furries fuck like rabbits. How about there's this bowling alley, right? Like uh, two blocks from my house in Jersey. Okay. And every Thursday night, they have a bowl, a bowling night and it's just furries. Furry Thursdays? It's furry Thursdays at the bowling <laughs> alley, dude. And they're all like drinking beers. And furry fucking... Thursday down in Philly, Berlin. Dude, dude, top to bottom. South dude. Jersey <laughs> Thursday. Fur South fur Jersey furry Thursdays. <laughs> Yes, yes, right there. South Jersey for your Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bar. We should pull up for one night. That'd I be, will, that'd yeah, be we, insane. We should, that would be sick. Head down there. We all, what do I dress up as? A panda? <laughs> and I start to like bowl in a panda costume like that. Like, like or is it? I'm the only one who's like, <laughs> like a huge mascot. I'm, I'm imagining myself as a gigantic panda that can barely move. Yeah. Yeah. I used, to, you know, I used to um, dress up as a teddy bear for a fucking work. What work, dude? Harbors? Are you fucking gummy bear mascot? <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Um, <laughs> no, we were we were trained dogs to fucking attack bears. And I, I had to run away. Oh, and did you have like the big arm sleeve where nah, they would bite I'm it? joking, but that would be funny. <laughs> I go, oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, I dressed up. Yo. Put on a FUBU tracksuit and ran away from a police car <laughs> dog. <laughs> I like, you know, when you're running, but you're pulling up your pants. I know that Fubu in Ireland, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, we all had Fubu tracks. You have Fubu and M1 basketball shorts. No, no, we didn't do that actually. No. Oh, okay. Um, but we, um, we did have Echo. Do you have an Echo but as a brand? Echo Unlimited, of course. Did you have Echo? Was like a what was it? Like a Rhino or it was something? Like a Rhino in like parentheses Echo, or something. Echo tracksuits. Echo, everyone let's go, a, dude. We were at head to toe, and everyone had everyone had a certain color tracksuit. And then every, but they only sold so many tracksuits. So every now and again, you'd have like a group of like twelve guys and two people. <laughs> two people were in the exact same tracksuit. Yeah, so they'd have to stand on different ends of the group. <laughs> Everyone's just standing and just like, yeah, Echo tracksuits. Is that them? The ugliest mess I've ever was seen. Was it Echo? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that was. What is that? It's Echo a, by Mark Jacobs. Yeah, Echo was the one. Was that like a urban thing here over here too, or was it more? Absolutely. Super? Yeah, we had and then Echo. Like, and then like most things in America, the white man steals it. That, well, no, we just monetize it. This we is, just monetize not, that's it. That's not stealing. If we're stealing, why are we in prison for it? I don't know who this wee shit is. I haven't made a dollar off of them. No, no, but it is a white thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a white thing. It's as white as lacrosse, which yeah, is so also we, made so by we, someone we, else. I, I once actually got arrested <laughs> for wearing a, I think it was a, a full gray Adidas tracksuit. All right? Now, I'll tell you. With the stripes at all? No, no. It was just like, it was just, it was just, solid. It was just solid with like a logo or two, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it was for uh, stealing a JCB, like a, like a digger, like a, like a mechanical 
digger that would like dig holes. <laughs> I don't know, like what you call a JCB over here. And uh, crash it into a school. Now. Oh, like a bulldozer. Uh, uh, no. Uh, maybe a bulldozer. I don't know what the international term is. I thought bulldozer. Heavy machinery with wheels that you could drive and do exactly. things with a crane. Yeah. Yes, sir. Forklift. And, uh, but I, it was a, it was a case of mistaken identity. Me and my friend. You got profiled? I swear to God, racially profiled. What the hell, dude? Go, I know he's white. And go, <laughs> We're all white. <laughs> when, when have we not been white? In the Adidas fucking jumpsuit That's on. That's what happened. I swear it, right? So Damn. me and my friends were hanging out in this huge, like, public laneway. Like, mm-hmm. it's, like a, like, it's like it's a country road kind of beside a school. And we're just hanging out smoking. And I don't even think we're doing that. It's like a walk on Wednesday night. Next thing you know, two of our other friends scale this big 20 foot wall going into the school and jump over and then they go oh shit we just joyrided to JCB and uh, we crashed it the cops are here so fucking so they fled and we're like alright see you later run you know we didn't, see, we didn't see him yeah we took a couple of, we're all 16 up to no good 15 yeah. maybe started making trouble in the neighborhood <laughs> and uh, then the cops pulled down the, 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 the lane to us but we're not doing that we're just like hanging out maybe smoking on their age or whatever but, and then the, one of the guys pulled up they go, did you see two guys coming this way? And we're like, no. La, la, la. And then one of the guys pulled up and it was like, it was those two. It was, <gasps> so it was me. So I was wearing a gray track. Well, I was wearing a gray track suit and my friend was wearing a black track oh, suit. Oh, so you just looked just like the two. Well, in fairness, we were 15-year-old white guys. Right. Who were wearing full gray track suit, full black track suit. And yeah. So they arrested us and then they're like, they uh, took our fingerprints and all this stuff. Oh, like, you got processed and everything? No, but, no, but then they came back. I bumped into him on the cops then like two weeks later he, he was in the park he came down to us again and he was, was like oh they didn't find that on those uh, fingerprints by the way I was like yeah I know that I didn't fucking I told do it you. it was like very when you're when you're innocent it's sick yeah. getting arrested when you're innocent is kind of awesome cause you're just going fuck you you pig face cunt you, you ain't got nothing on me I'll copper. be out by supper motherfucker <laughs> there's only two days the day you walk in the day you walk out huh? <laughs> that Avon Barkley shit <laughs> Barkley <laughs> I'm hit I'm <laughs> yeah um, yeah but you know what's funny then I did get arrested again with those same guys with the same blokes for robbing a different GC- JCB at a le- on a later day which we did do. <laughs> uh, and then, so, but then I think it tainted my relationship with my parents because then they believed that I didn't rob the other one. But then, if I didn't rob the other one, why would I get arrested for robbing the next one? But I, sw- I, sw- what, for why would I lie about that now? Right. Yeah. yeah. And it was best was they ran the fingerprints and they go, yeah, we, we, you're lucky. We couldn't get any fingerprints off. And I was like, it was not me, you fucking. Like, what are they doing? Dusting like the steering wheel on the JCB for fingerprints? Like, you know, yeah. they didn't go that deep into it. Cops are the laziest motherfuckers. They might have out of spite because we were always like, it wasn't us. So I don't give they a fuck. They need like forensics to do I that. Was like, it wasn't us. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. No. You, that, yeah. Well, no. I've, that- had, I've had my house broken into and then forensics Whoa. show up for fingerprints. And the man's just like, he's like Dustin talking to me. He's like, yeah, we're not going to find that. Oh. He was like, yeah, nah, the chance of us finding a fingerprint are fucking, like, he's like, I haven't it's found a millions of fingerprints. He, he's just like, I haven't found a fingerprint in 28 years. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking blind he's doing just it. Like, te- no, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just dusting shit. Yeah. He's just making my room dirty. He's just like rubbing black dust all over the window. <laughs> no, like I said, anyway, yeah, you'll never get that shit back. See you later, dude. And I- <laughs> <laughs> all right, good luck. Have a good day. In Ireland, did they, like, when you were kids, like, take you on a field trip at school, like, to a police station to get your fingerprints and make it seem like a fun activity? No. <laughs> Dude, in America, they fucking write, Dave, that happened to you. Fucking look at that. 300 miles away. Same fucking thing. Elementary school, they take, they bus every kid to the police station. They like walk you around, make it look like all fun and helpful. And the next thing you know, they're just like fingerprinting a bunch of seven year olds in case they turn into school shooters, I guess. And so you're voluntary, you're voluntarily giving your fingerprints to the cops? Without even knowing, because you're just a kid and you think that it's like, you know, oh, look, like the cops are doing our fingerprints. It's cute and fun. Well, I think they have it now, as far as I know, in Ireland, you have to when you get your passport, maybe, or something, or, or something. There's a time when you have to give in your fingerprints or you won't be able to get another thing. Freedom's long gone, that's, brothers. That's three. That's three. Freedom's long gone, brothers. Can you timestamp that for me, Dave? What, for fucking the thing? You should have to get- <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to count. Should be able to know exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah! But yeah, that was always fucked up. That always bothered me. But I never got in trouble. It's not like I'm doing anything. Um, yeah, but the fingerprints are they're, they're hard to find. I think if you kill someone, I don't think you're. I think finding your fingerprints 
on a, at a murder or low? Depends, I guess, how you do and what you use. I just think if I was to kill you, I think I'd get caught on DNA rather than fingerprints. Fingerprints are very rare, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just talking absolutely on my ass, but I just I mean I'm I'm following the logic. It's a it's a, it's a hunch here. <laughs> you always hear of people getting caught with murders because of a hair follicle, blood, right. like a shoes. Cum. It's very rare. You <laughs> just a little bit of cum, just a little bit of cum, uh, dude. Find me a place. Find me a room in New York where <laughs> my kill me. <laughs> what do you think I do when you're not here? I'm just dropping loads all over there this is bitch. Guy. There's a CSI guy. There's a forensic guy just keeps going like cosmic scum. <laughs> like, like this column character. Here's the here's 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 here's, a, here's an interesting scenario, right? Because this guy has to exist. There has to be a guy who has the most amount of cum stains <laughs> in New York, right? He there has to be a guy. There has to be a guy who's number one. Yeah, who has his cum on more places, more city blocks. Than anyone else. Like, and who's that guy? It's got to be a homeless. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Fonzie does it because he's sick. <laughs> like one of those guys who would like lick the top of a Hagen Dust. <laughs> but Fonzie goes around just like dabbing cum on walls and stuff. He's just like into it, just on the train. He just brushes on someone's shoulder. I think I keep my hair slicked back. <laughs> Is that gel? <laughs> uh, no artificial you, products in this. Listen, air. So, someone someone has combed on more walls than anyone else. Like Insane. it might not, it not be a crazy amount, but like it has to be. There's got to be a psychopath, like the way those guys, you know, those doctors who keep uh, impreg- who kept impregnating all the women with, yeah. their, with their own stuff. <laughs> yeah. Where they're just like, oh, you can't get pregnant. I'm gonna take your tiny little Indian. Husbands come. I'm just trying to check on it in the kitchen, and then he comes back out all sweaty. And, Here you go, no fresh one. Smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you go, yeah, try that one. Over <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Your family ain't have a head this big come out before. <laughs> you don't be, them eggs are just fine. Trust me. This is the first time you'll ever have a tall child in your life. You're, you're lucky. Keep him out of the sun. Uh, yeah, there was loads of cops that there was like they had like I I don't know what the deal was. I guess they had like an like a the can Nick Cannon fucking disease where they just want to get women pregnant, and uh, which is also it's listen, the Nick Cannon thing, he just keeps getting all these girls up the duff, right? He's he, just he's the duffer. <laughs> he's the duffer. Shout out to the duffer. Shout out to the duffel bag. King, king of the duff. Uh, <laughs> just king of the duff. Yeah, just King Duff Nick Cannon. I think that went up. I think he's got more than nine kids nowadays. I think he has twelve. He's like no. eleven or twelve. Well, it goes up. It's like it's like levels on a fucking. He had like three it in goes the past up. year alone. Nah, no, he's gotten more bitches pregnant. Like my niece and nephew are Irish twins. He's got friggin' I don't know what you call them. Yeah, the Irish twins is a, is a funny one, but uh, he has more yeah, eleven, yeah. maybe twelve. But he also lost one too. This is like old Damn. school way of thinking. Like back in the fifties, when two of your kids would be gone for polio. One of them would be gay, so you disown them. So that's what they used to do. They'd have 10 of them. <laughs> ten, they'd have 10 kids to cover the losses. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you got you to gotta, you spread out your bottom line. But nowadays, that's what Nick Cannon's doing. But it's worse for the women. What's Nick Cannon's net worth? Wait, no. support in fucking... If, if you're Nick Cannon and you're out there with 12 fucking kids, right? He's out there. He's just doing it. That's his, what he's into. He's just busting. He, look, it's the, it's the way of the Lord. He's a good Catholic boy. Yeah, Dave and Buster. That's what they want you to do. Um, Money bags. But the, imagine being the woman who's like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be another baby mama. I'll be another baby mama. That's crazy. Most that's, most women that's... would accept that life, though. You understand that, right? Listen to Nick Cannon's stand-up comedy. His black Israelites. Fucking him. Was was he roasting Maddie Smith on TV on a Saturday <laughs> night? That's that's the fault of your child? When Maddie goes up, yo, yo, yo. Right. Why is it okay when Maddie does it? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> she gets paid 20K an episode or whatever the fuck, dude. Maddie goes up and sleaze your ass. <laughs> With her 20 fucking writers. <laughs> nah, I don't know about that. I think Maddie actually, she told me. Nah, she, friend of the show. She's awesome. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. We'll never do it. No, I'm joking. We'll have her on sometime. And so did we answer that question? What was the question? What do you feel about Americans are probably Irish, but I've never been to the country? Couldn't give a fuck. I couldn't give a fuck. There is a, there's a weird thing back home in Ireland where they hate that because I'm sure they come on vacation here, mm-hmm. holiday. We come on holiday 
And uh, then you meet somebody, you go, wow, I'm Irish, my great great grandfather, whatever, you know. And I just don't think I've never cared if you say you're Irish or whatever. Right. It doesn't. I don't because. You know, because I I know fucking Africans who moved to Ireland when they were twelve or whatever, and 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 they still have a fucking big goofy accent, and then <laughs> well, like they're Irish too, right? If they've spent yeah. their life in Ireland, um, they're Irish. Yeah, so, they're so, citizens of the country. Like I think that's pretty. Um, yeah, but look, I, but again, it's like it's a different breed of like it's like it, it's a different. Uh, like, you know, they're American Irish. They call them Irish. It's your identity over here. Identity is huge over here. It's not like a big thing back there. Mm-hmm. Like it's more of a factual. You're out of here and you're not. Like, yeah, um, yeah. Um, I don't really give a fuck if it's if it's if it's good for you to do it. It doesn't it doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't change my life. There is a thing that a lot of Irish fucking fucking hate it. Yeah, um, Irish and Italians are definitely the only two like main groups in America that are like so like Irish. obsessed with their nationalities. Yes. But you have a very. But it's a thing, you know. Shit. Well, a lot of the people that don't speak English have it too. We just don't know because we're not listening to them. Right. You know? <laughs> no, we just don't care because we can't understand them. Whatever. Who <laughs> you knows? Like, <laughs> all that gibberish, you know. Yeah. All that bah humbug coming out their mouth. <laughs> There's, a lot of, <laughs> There's a lot of scat coming out of these foreigners. <laughs> a lot of scat men out here <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> 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 Every time I'm talking to these guys, a lot of buckfest and scat men. <laughs> <laughs> um. But you don't know what these South Americans. There could be. I, I. I'm guessing it's like Argentinians are the most proud of their heritage. Um. You know, Argentina is like the most hated country in South America by all the other Spanish because they're like, they're culturally a little bit different because <laughs> they're Germans. <laughs> so, Nazis. Nice. Good. Good stuff. Hell good stuff. yeah, dude. Go. Go. Put yourself. Put yourself on camera for a second, just to, just to show the folks what. A- <laughs> wave, wave to the people at home there, David. Get out! Get out! Oh, hey, oh, 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 cheating, cheating! You should be in a costume, dude. The fucking fuck? cheating! You should have been in a costume. You should. Also, by the way, we had this big fucking day set up for the, the day of Bud Lights. You got to be Bud Lights. You got. You need a parachute for fucking a long day of day drinking. Um, the sycophant over here. What you just fucking call me? Not you, the Bud Man. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a sycophant. <laughs> He's definitely a sick of it. If ever I've seen one, and, I, and tell the people at home what that means, because they might not know. Dude, that means you get Budweisers at 12 p.m. on a Tuesday to drink. What you're day a, is you're it? a fucking problem, David. David, <laughs> David. David's got a problem. Hit him with the five. Yeah, he's trying to hit five. He's pressing every button. But hey, five. hey, salut! Just so you know, anyone who's watching at home just saw every single camera angle because he went like this. He went one, he, two, three, four, five. He went through every single. One. He went to an old angle that we don't even do anymore. It was just black screen. <laughs> You're really, you're Boston people are fucking useless. I love it. I used to hate Boston just because of the Philly Boston rivalry, but dude, god damn it, if we're not the same person. No, nah, Philly Boston's exactly it. New York satellite city. Hysterical. Um, but yeah, I said, look, fucking Fonzie got the, some beers. I got some beers. And then I was like, will we be shy of beers? So I text David this morning, go, yo, can you pick up some Bud Lights um, near CVS so that they're cold? He goes, got it. Got a show up, he gets butts. Wrong answer. And I go, why didn't you message me? He goes, well, I just, I just got butts. <laughs> they ran out. They ran out. Shocking. Damn. <laughs> Fucking shocking answer. Lay off. No, no, no. Hey, hey, back we're, off. We're creating this. Was was he sucking you off, dude? Dude, you. Sh- I'm gonna have. I'm, yo, you yo. know what's gonna happen is. Le- no, 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 no. You know what's gonna happen is. <laughs> I'm not gonna have to tell you to tell him. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to create a chain of demand. Chain of command. So that when he fucks up, it's on it's you. A chain of you, demand. You won't have the same <laughs> end of the post. We, <laughs> you won't have the same fucking love of this fucking goon. The two of you guys smoking when I'm out of here going, talk, doing impressions of me or whatever you yeah, do. Yeah, when I'm yeah. gone. I know when I'm gone, the two of you are like, cutting wires in the back of the computer like this will really set him back. I know when I'm gone, you two are just like, oh, here's what I got. I love it. <laughs> I bet you have a nickname for you me. You think too highly of yourself. I bet you have a fucking nickname. <laughs> I'm the boss you're all making fun of. Yeah, let me get a Mike Tyson. It'd be so it'd be so funny if you guys did a like zinny. I don't know why I need that. <laughs> I need a zinny. 
Oh, uh, it'd be so funny though if you Ooh. guys had like some sort of a, like just the two of you are mocking me behind my back every time I leave. Even on the show, we're like dubbing in like little things. And then he does this. Do you ever notice he does this? <laughs> um, all right, that was a good question. That was a good. Let's get, should cut to an ad read while Fonzie's trying to learn how to open a box. Yeah. If it was a safe, now we'd have it cracked. But <laughs> it's. Beautiful. Sticking the snooze in there. Beautiful. What Thank are they you, call? Sir. Zen? That's not a Zen, but the same thing. Remember Lucy's? Of course. I love the Lucy's. Out of business. No way. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm going to tell you guys. If you see a company advertising on this podcast, <laughs> they, are, <laughs> they are on their last. You need to fucking, you need to short those motherfuckers because they are on the way out. <laughs> yeah, we put put options on every ad that comes here. <laughs> short the mother. Wall Street breaths to the fucking moon. The, the, no, those companies are, they are done. Column is deep Dude. fucking value. We've got a, I've got an ad read for AMC. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, all right. Next question. Um, <laughs> that's a stupid question. That's a stupid question. Uh, all right. Who do you respect the most and who do you respect the least out of Big J, Dave, and Lewis? Hmm. This is tough. I'm surprised you took that one. Um, well, it was printed up and David's going to get smack. In post. <laughs> in post. We'll put that in post. David's going to get smack in post. <laughs> <laughs> um, why don't you guys answer your versions of it and then I'll think about mine. Well, I don't know them personally at all, but I would say... What is it? Respect and least respect? Is that what? It's? Yeah, but what's the respect? Respect is. I don't not... know. I think like I would say Dave is clearly the most respectable one, just because. <laughs> oh, is he? I would say so. <laughs> I'm sure. Clip that and send it to him. I'm sure he'd love that. That's absolutely the most respectable. <laughs> All the other guys are respectable. He's like he's like a he's like running for office or whatever the fuck he's doing. Like running for office? Yes. Yeah. yeah so Dave's all right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He he cares about freedom. I share similar politics with him. Listen, here's the thing is, right? You got to, you got to, and no one can argue this, right? And this is a stupid question. And it's also something that I could, I don't really think about. I love the three of them. Uh, Lu Dave, oh, sorry, sorry. Jay is without a doubt the funniest. For sure. One of the funniest people on the, in the world. Mm -hmm. Philly boy, shout out. Philly boys. Philly, Philly boys. boys. Uh, Dave, uh, Jay's the funniest. Dave, Dave's also very funny. And he's also very political minded and he talks about stuff that I'm not a vote for him. If he ever does become a politician, I'll vote for and him. And campaign for him. Yeah, hey, you gotta vote for your friends. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> can't hand out a flyer, dude. I'll, I'll fucking vote for him. I'll throw my vote away. <laughs> for, for the you can't even vote, can you? Uh, no, but you know, I'm. Um, it's it's, it's I'm, okay. Soon, one day. As if you're you don't have a criminal background that doesn't stops you from voting. My record's clean as hell, oh, yeah. baby. Yeah, since you fled the boat, <laughs> I just flee right in time. But I never voted yeah. in my life, so I would have to say, I probably it's tough. I probably because I love comedy so much. I probably have to say I love G I respect Jay the most because he's the funniest. Yeah. But I, sense. but, 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 but who's I'm, done? I want to tell you, no, Lewis has done more for my career than the other two don't even no, I'll text him right now. And none of them was actually yeah. Lewis would not respond to me. If I, text, <laughs> if I text, I should triple track. I should triple text them all just saying, Hey, can you ring me? And then if any of them ring me, they, then they get the win. That's the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Lewis won't. Lewis would just ignore me. Lewis, uh -huh. is, Lewis is sucking <laughs> clip somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks. Um, Lewis has helped me out more than anyone, obviously, and I love Lewis and I respect Lewis has become Lewis has come from lower than anyone to wherever he is, and he's like one of the dumbest humans you've ever met in your life. He's not particularly talented in any way. He's not. He has. He has no real attributes where you go. He should be here, but he has. He always does it, and I always say that. Like Lewis is journey from wherever the fuck he is both organically and where he started to where he is now Crazy. is a void it is much bigger than anyone else right no one else has done that kevin hart journey to multi-billionaire conglomerate or whatever the fuck he's doing isn't the same distance as lewis <laughs> who grew up chained to a radiator 
getting hockey pucks to the face <laughs> where they would like his mother's friends would bet on who could hit him with the hockey oh puck oh my god I don't know what type of child that he had but <laughs> they called him Ashtray for a while <laughs> right? <laughs> my god and that's a tough life look that's a tough fucking life that you have to, and now look he's guys he's a fucking he is a great kid he's a great relationship with his ex fuck all that stuff and he's constantly doing and he's growing all the time so Lewis has grown the most like the, the, that's a good voyage absolutely and he's dumb as a rock too so he did that while being a fucking dope got that work ethic he's got something <laughs> I, don't even, I don't know if you call it that he's definitely got a fucking something that most and I don't have it and <laughs> so maybe I've, I would argue I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go Big J because he's the funniest but I do think Lewis deserves his I like flowers that. and then I'll probably say I, but this is just because I don't understand politics. Maybe I just I respect Dave the least, but that's I feel bad saying that because it's not real. You don't have to answer that second half. Cut, right, cut, cut that out. <laughs> I was like, okay, cut that out, and then he, and then Dave makes it a fucking Instagram, it's an Instagram reel. clip. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I love the I love the boys too. Yeah, the boys and uh, Dave's um Dave special is great. If you ever watch Dave special. Watch Dave special. Go watch it. What's it and called? Tell me how it is. Libertas or whatever. No, it's good. The two boys, Lewis and Dave, unfortunately, when they became known to the people, they were positioned beside Big J. So like that, it's like you look smaller in a fucking photograph or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so no, they don't. They don't get their flowers. Right. Right. I learned that one the other day when that black guy got shot. Is that the first time you heard that? No, nah, I've heard about it. I never really used it, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Migos, one of the Migos brothers got shot. Playing a game of dice. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we give, we're giving Dave his flowers here today. <laughs> it's the flower pot. <laughs> um, all right, here's another one. Here we go. Here we go. Let me finish it. Come on. Come on. Here you go. Let me read one. Let me read one to you. Please do. Yeah. Let's get in there. Let's get in how many? How many of you, dear deep there, Dave? He's just still on the boat. The boat heavies. Yeah. He said three. He goes just chilling. He goes three. <laughs> <laughs> I look over. There's one there. He goes, yeah, I'm just chilling on three. <laughs> Are you on your third? I think so. I think I'm on three or four. Okay, so which actor or comedian still living would you like to have a beer with? That's from What Up Plank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're getting in. Now we're getting to the brass tax of things. Damn. Don't be afraid to jump in with your fucking answers. The like boys that. are buzzing right now. No, no, no. We're, we're just, dude, it's almost 1230. It's 240. Actor, <laughs> comedian. I would say probably Joe Pesci personally. You want to go have a beer with Joe Pesci? I want to get fucked up with Joe Pesci. All right. Okay. I, this is a, obviously, I don't want to be like a girl in this scenario, but like, why would Joe Pesci have a drink with you or anything like that? You know, like, <laughs> like in this, this, no, but I'm saying Joe Pesci so old and fragile. Yeah. Good point. He's 90s like, Joe Pesci. You know, he's drink. He, he just drinks a shit. Yeah. All he right. drinks a little Carlo Rossi fucking a, table he, wine. He has, yeah. He has a sherry with his fucking yeah. chicken parm or He's whatever. from Jersey. I, 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 had a, I had a deli. Like, the, you know, I said, I, I, like my family owned a deli. Ground. It was called Goodfellas. Literally every TV screen and it played Goodfellas. So I just like. I thought you were joking. No, I'm dead serious. I thought I was like a bit. I wish it was. Yeah, I'm so Italian. My family have a deli called Goodfellas. It's like embarrassing almost. <laughs> <laughs> Goodfellas of Marlton. Best chicken cutlet in South Jersey. Rate it. It closed after a year. It might have been a front, but we're not going to go was there. A front. It absolutely was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wonder why there's no like change for me to give a he customer. Goes, he goes, we survived for a year and never sold one fucking item. <laughs> Only my uncles came in for sandwiches. It was weird. I have a fucking funny story about that. Uh, my ex's girlfriend used to live. Uh, family used. To, my ex's family used to live in Long Island. A bunch mm -hmm. of Irish immigrants, and then one of the. Um, brothers or whatever came over to visit one time and there was like a mob front deli near where they where the house was so the, the, he would go for his walk every day or whatever and then on his way back from his walk he'd get a coffee or or whatever whatever grab something yeah. such, 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 whatever the situation was and then he, he would walk he walked in like one day and like no one walks into the place everyone knows what's going on there's a bunch of guys with like flat caps and track suits and they're sitting around going oh, bang, bing bop Oh. You know, <laughs> I said, "What are you still doing here? I thought I was gonna put your butt out there. What do you work? 
And I'll go, funny how? What the fuck? <laughs> There's a guy sitting outside tanning himself. Just a fucking Polly Walnut. <laughs> like. It was exactly like that. Um, and he walked in one day and was like, yo, uh, and everyone turned around, you know, it was like, bling, bling. Walks in, he's like, yo, can I get a coffee? And they go, coffee machine's broke. <laughs> and he went, all right, okay, bye. And then he walks in the next day again, because he didn't know. Trying to get another coffee? Yeah, Stop. he goes, hey, can I get a coffee? And they're like, it's fucking broke. And then he said the third day. What are you, hard of hearing? They go, they go, don't come back in no more. <laughs> and then he goes, like, that coffee place. And they go, you can't go in there. One more time in, he would have had a hit on him. They brought us in. When I came I came to visit New York when I was like 19 or 20 years old. And we stayed with the family. And the, and the aunt drove us over to the front. They drove us to the, because I was talking about how I love the Sopranos. So she go, oh, get in the car. And they drove us to like a front and like kind of pulled up. <laughs> and there was just a bunch of fucking fat guys. They all yeah. had the, they all had the, the flag. Jeff caps, yeah. Yeah, like the paddy caps, but they were like an yeah. Irish thing. Yeah, I we guess. call them Jeff caps here. Jeff, they, all fucking, had, they all had Jeff caps. The old wops wear them here. Jeff caps, track suits with no shirts, but they're like fat and old and guys. And a fat chain just on a bed of hair. Big fucking dirty pinky ring. Um. Oh, and then so that girl I stayed with, her uncle. Uh, and I'm sure I've told the story before, but it's fucking great. That uncle worked in. Um, Do you ever see that movie with um, James Galdi, uh, Gandolfini, Gandolfini, and the English cunt, and who's really sexy that all the girls love? James Galdi. It was. It's, it's called like the the front or something. It's like a bar that he runs or the drop off Mm-mm. or something. It's about a, a bar where. Um, where the mob leave their collections, you know? Yeah, it's just a money laundering spot. It's, it, it's a spot where they would all go, the drop. Yeah, exactly. So the drop is a, is about that where they would just, you know, the mob come in on a Monday, they pick up the money. And the brown paper bag comes in. Yes, yeah. yes. So my ex's uncle, who lived in Long Island, worked in a place like that. And his job would be every now and again, these guys would come in and go, yo, I'm looking for this. And then he would just go over to the fridge. He'd open up the fridge. And there'd be a brown bag of, bag of money and I would say fawns on it and he would hand it to him or whatever. But there was like uh, all these old school guys would come in and drink there all the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there was one time like a guy got in a fight or whatever. And the next day, the, like the, the head of the, the, the crew came in. Was, mm-hmm. What's going on? And then he's like, look, he was out of line. He did this thing. He's like, you'll never see him again. And then the guy, like that guy, the younger Won't guy. Won't be hearing from him no more. <laughs> Sleeping with the fishes. He's like, he's like, it was $20 time. He didn't. <laughs> uh, no, he just, it was like, he started, he was, the guy started the fight. He goes, right. who started the fight? And it was like, your guy. And he goes, you won't see, it was whoever started the fight. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but he said there was one night, a fucking fight broke out. And behind the bar, they had these like ornaments of giant salt and paper, salt and pepper shakers. You know, like the fucking right. But they're like fucking three foot tall. Yeah, the hang- wood ones. With yeah, the, yeah. But they're like ornaments on a shelf. <laughs> yeah. And he said a fight breaks out, and, and, they, no. and they're, they're fighting. And one of the guys is kicking some guy in the ground, and he jumps over the bar and he grabs one of the salt shakers. I starts beating Whoa. some guy like it was a bat. Just, oh my god! He just god. beats his head in with his with his giant ornament. Salt the wooden fucking yeah pepper breaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember just going, wow, that's so fucking funny. It's so funny. That's like the funniest fucking thing. And I go, if I ever can create any sort of a TV show or anything, I go, there's gonna be some sort of variation where someone jumps over the bar, grabs an ornament, and beats the living fuck out of them <laughs> with it. <laughs> just beats them to death. Like with, Bronx, they're like, now you just can't leave. Yeah, but, he has, but they're all fighting with- got pepper shakers. They've got, they're all fighting with giant things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I, I always, I, I've always wanted, I'm, I'm once, I once DM'd there because I wanted to figure out um, where the fuck that was because that was years ago and I haven't talked to her and now I live in Amer- uh, New York so I kind of know places I always mm-hmm. want to know the neighbor I messed her one time I was like hey how's it going la 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 where did we stay that one time with your uncle and all that stuff and she goes Long Island and I went alright <laughs> alright I hope you're well <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, so you never answered it. Of course there... I didn't answer it. <laughs> We're not answering shit here. Dude, what up plank needs an answer? It's 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 ask me out and it's not answer you anything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're just having fun here. We're just <laughs> you're right yapping, telling tales. I was interested in your answer. We're singing she shanties. Is that fucking Brian Gleason or whoever the fuck it is. Who's that guy? You know what I'm talking about. Um Yeah, what well, um that alcoholic actor. Gleason? Yeah. 
who's in like fucking Gangs of New York and all those movies, that Irish guy. It is uh, Gleason, but I can't remember his fucking name. Colin Gleason from In Bruges. Yeah, he yeah. Just, he just hosted SNL. Did he? Yes, with Colin Farrell. Um, all right, what was the question? What comedian? What actor comedian would you like to have a beer with? All right, let me do that in two things because I don't know if there's a actor comedian. Comedian I would like to have a beer with would have to be Bert Kreischer. Fuck yeah. So like, Bert, Bert, Cr Bert, you fuck. Someone clip this. Because <laughs> I someone asked me this question before when I did like a, a, a thing on Instagram. They mm -hmm. said, yo, which comedian would you like to have a beer with? And I said, fucking Bert Kreischer, I tagged him in. And then he fucking replied and he shared it. goes, let's make this happen. Ugh. And then I said something like, oh, I'm, in, I'm literally in LA in a month. If you're around, whatever. And if not, and he was like, yeah, let's make it happen. Next him, hey, I'm in LA this weekend. Nada. Go City, dude. He then want he, Patrick Swayze on you. Oof, oof. He was going to give him a birth crush. <laughs> dude, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I start threatening him with a chain. <laughs> Now, Bert, if we ever cross paths, I'd love to have a beer with Bert Kreischer. That'd Hell be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be now, amazing. Act, actor, who would I fucking love to have a fucking beer with? Um, you, know, you know what? This time last year, I would have said Jimmy Fallon. Mm. But ne we, now we're like our friends. Who would, who would it be? <laughs> um, let me think. Let me think. <laughs> so you know, I'm always, I'm always hanging out with the Jiffer. The Jiffer. Um, who's a good booze hound? You know... Um, it's got to be someone who's fucking nuts, like Madonna. Like Johnny Depp or something? Yeah, Johnny would be a solid Johnny one. Johnny would be crazy. I actually know. You know what? He's almost sad now. Yeah, he has, his face freaks me out these days. He's a little bit sad. Yeah. But it's got to be someone who's fucking going nuts. Miles Teller. Miles Down Teller at, game? at the Phillies game last night? Ooh, yeah. Now, that's a good one. I thought of that after I said Joe Pesci. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What about you? Who, who you know? Who, no, ben thanks. Affleck. Nah, <laughs> Belichick. Look, I'll do. I would do comedians, but, but honestly, you would do. Com I'm sure you would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. do a lot. Of them, <laughs> I'm sure you would. Bill, <laughs> Bill, crack me open, Burr. <laughs> Mr. Burr, crack me open. <laughs> I would be honestly not lay off. <laughs> Why? What do you? You love him? Uh, let the man speak. <laughs> he loves. He, Fonzie loves Dave. Fonzie loves Dave. The Paisano connection. They were overthrowing this monopoly. <laughs> One day I'm just gone. <laughs> no more Mr. Gay Man. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, Bobby Kelly. Honestly, not. De he's definitely on the list. Or Gullman. He's from the. the Bobby, yeah, he's I from guess my he's from a neighborhood. It would be a Boston guy. So are you saying you want Bobby Kelly to relapse? It does. He Is not? he Sobies? Bobby Kelly's been sober for 30 hypo years. Hypothetically, yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking no. <laughs> Him or Goldman? Goldman's, Goldman's like Goldman's from my, he, also sober, isn't he's he? From, uh, I don't know. He's from my neighborhood. He went to my high school. So you're just thinking oh, that's, that's cool. cool. It, would be, yeah, it would be like, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, so you're just using the beer as an opportunity to, to talk to some guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. I get that. Like but now, you but you're, no, 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 no. But here's the thing is the question is, is who... You're very bad. Who would you like to have a beer with? And he said, what's wrong with his answer? Because he's using that <laughs> as a chance to hang out with him. No, you got to. Uh, the question That would be a great question. Who would you like to meet? Those guys are sober, right? So, yeah. like, you can't pick them. You can't pick them. You got to pick someone who's a fucking boo booze hound where you wake up the next day going, that was nuts. Okay. You got to wake up with blood uh, and a dead whore in your fucking hotel. And there was like a party. Uh, like fucking TJ Miller. Oh, would yeah. Be, yeah, yeah. TJ Miller. <laughs> TJ Miller just fucking calling bomb tracks. Yeah. Bomb tracks on an Amtrak. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good night. That's a story. Yo, fucking Hughie Bear or whoever the fuck he voiced. Just <laughs> Yogi Bear. Whatever. Yogi Bear. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a kid. Oh, now they're going oh, recently sober, but Ron White like a year ago. Yes. Oh, that would be, that's yes. a good one. Private that's a good jet, one. That would have been great. Whiskey. And it's like ranch in Texas. That'd be Actually, sick. You know what? That's a good. That's probably the best answer. Rogi, Rogi was Joe Rogan would be Rogi's. good. Rogi's would be, be good. It'd be just good for good for my career. Good for all of us. <laughs> but he wouldn't go nuts enough. I need someone for me to pick any celebrity. I need someone who's at their peak, just about to throw it all away. Yeah, yeah. Still <laughs> like, binging. Like back in the day when fucking Colin Farrell was dating Britney Spears when he was cracking open that bag of mess. 
That was a good year. That was a good year for the Irish. We had a good year. That was like 2002. We yeah. were in the World Cup in Japan. That was a fucking solid. <laughs> we were, things are going well for us. Roy Your Keane. phone booth just came out. Yeah. <laughs> we were crack. <laughs> it was great. Colin Farrell was the, the man for... He, he's, he, he's a beast. He has a sex tape out and he has a huge big dick. But really? The, yeah, he had to sober up. He... He was like just had this mustache, foot like coke all the time. But he he said he filmed an entire movie at one point, and he said like he was blacked out every day, like it was like nonstop, and it was like one of those like almost like Motley Crue situations where he would go out all night. He'd wake up in the morning, they would stab him full of something. He would do fucking rips lines of coke, and he would just like read his lines there like that, and he would go out, and they would make him up, and he'd be hammered drinking fucking you know fucking. He'd be drinking uh, fucking screwdrivers all day. Oh, just yeah, always, just, OJ. And, and, he, and he said, uh, he, he goes, he woke up and goes like, what's the deal with this movie? Are we going to film it? And they're like, yo, it's finished. You, we, we did it. You did it. And he's like, what? And like, you did three months. That's like, that's like, he, he was like so bad where he, when he sobered up, he goes, are we ever going to film that movie? He's like, you did the movie. <laughs> it's like, it's literally out on Blu-ray right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it flopped. It went straight to DVD. <laughs> yeah, you crushed, but yeah, but he, I guess he was one of these drunks. Some people you meet who are drunk, like you'll never know because they don't really slur and their, their face. When I'm like drunk, it's like fucking my eyes are closed. Your eyes are straight up closed, dude. Dude, I'm gi <laughs> I am. One eye's just glued shut. I'm cunt I need fucking, Ugh. I need matchsticks just to be like, I'm not, I'm not, I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> um, I remember years ago, I heard a fucking great story. There was a local nightclub near my house called Barcode, mm. right? And then a friend of my brother's went down and he was fucking out all day, sports games. Shit faced, you know, came down, stumbling down. Mm. And like, you like, you barely stand. And he walked up and he's on his own. And all the bouncers see him and they're like, they're strict bouncers. Yeah. And they go, have you been drinking? And he went, and he's like a young 19 year old. <laughs> and he said, I had a glass of red with my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and all the bouncers had laughing. They go, get in there. Get yeah, in little, there. Yeah, little cunt. You Come fucking on, hooligan. <laughs> That's great. He, yeah, they laughed so hard that they go, "Go on, you fucking they said, bollocks!" You know what? You ain't I, I, yeah, that same place. I, that same place. I went up, and they're like, "Not tonight." So then me and my friends who didn't get in, we would like you'd walk a few blocks over, and then you'd swap shirts and stuff, mm -hmm. and you like change hats and <laughs> fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You do the whole thing, and then you'd walk back up, and you're like, "We are a different group of people." <laughs> it's like two of you in a trench coat on shoulders. Yeah, yeah. and then I, I, yeah, and then I remember they're like, "No." Nah. They're like, we just refuse you. And then <laughs> you'd walk back up then like 35 minutes later in your original clothes. And eventually they go, just fucking go in. Just get in, dude. So I did it once, dude, when I was, I was fucking 15 years old. And I, had my brother, I, had my, I was 15 years old at a club. And I showed up and they're like, you're not getting in, man. And I went, oh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. And he was like, show me. Your, he's like, just no way. And I'm just like standing there. And he's like, there's no way you're 18. And I showed him my ID and I said, I was uh Said I was uh, 20, 21. No, I said I was 19. Yeah, because my brother's four Which, years old. That, yeah, that so I was 19, lines. right? Yeah, yes, 18. And he shows me, <laughs> it says I'm 19. And they were like, yeah, and I do look enough like my brother, mm -hmm. but like they were just like, dude, you're not getting in. I was like, that's all right. So I just stood there right beside them. <laughs> it was like, and then they were like, Get, sign your signature, right? And I was like, it's funny, the, the ID doesn't have my, sig my brother's signature on it. So I'd like wrote something. And they're like, they even were like, that doesn't match. But like, you didn't even have the idea. <laughs> I'm just 15, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just, they kept going, dude, just, they were like, just go home. You're not getting in. And I just went, that's okay, yeah. And I just like politely <laughs> stood there. And I never said a single word. I never said, can I get in? And I just I just you stood there waiting. The and then your man just went, go in, will you? you <laughs> like, get the fuck away from me, dude. Go the in. Irish have a good fucking, ah, go on, you cunt. <laughs> like, they love a little glint. <laughs> yeah. They love a glint in your eye. I remember, get in there. Yeah, because we'd all just borrow each other's ideas. My friend Andy, you fucking we, we question another. What'd you say? You want a question? Oh, I said we crush another one. My friend Andy had a. He went down. He got a legal fake ID, right? He so there was like two different. There's like different types of IDs you could get. You know, you get your passport, your driver's mm -hmm. license, whatever, and then you could get like a police, almost like, just like a New York ID, just no, an like, ID card, just an ID card, yeah. And he went down and he brought his brother's passport and his brother's information. But it was him and his photos. Mm -hmm. And he just went, I am my brother. 
and these are my photos. And they were like, yeah, cool. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Gave him a... So he, so when he showed up, they were like, you look like 17. He's like, yeah, but this is illegal. You cannot say I'm not because I just look young. Right. It was the best. Yeah, that was a solid one. But he had the ball. He had just the balls on him, which in, in hindsight... It's all confidence. In hindsight, though, if I had done it too and they were like, this is not you, I go, how oh, it is, yeah. And they go, what, are they going to arrest you? They're, they're, not gonna, they're just going to go fuck off home. Yeah. You also, you're underage. They're not going to put you in jail or anything. So he did that. And there was another technique that we had was sometimes you would go in with an ID. You guys I'd probably have a different colors if your driver's license is like your It's colors. like a state-based thing. So, yeah. So in America, sometimes what they'll do is if you're like a driver's license and you're 19, it's like it's pink or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then when... It, yeah, so we don't right, have, we don't right. have we don't have that in Ireland the law. Um, so what a guy would do is he would just show up and they were like IDs please IDs and then he would just like he was seventeen he would just hand his ID to the guy and the guy would be like yeah all right go ahead right because he's not looking at it really he just looks at the date and then moves Barely, on yeah. no he doesn't even look at that they just like they're retards <laughs> dude if you're a bouncer your life stinks. You're not you. You're not good with numbers. You're not good with words. You're not good with and. You're just a big guy. <laughs> That's your talent in life. You're a big dude. Yeah. You didn't make it in the sports. <laughs> yeah. Of, you weren't an offensive lineman. You know I don't. I. I. I everyone hates bouncers in Ireland. They hate them. They're cunts. They. They have this power trip. They think they're like exactly. The cops. It's the power trip. Yeah. I don't experience as much over here. Maybe it's because I'm older. Well, so exactly. Like, but it's the same thing here. Like I did the same thing. Had an older brother with the ID. They would fucking like one time. I literally had to do community service as my brother because I was drinking on the street, like public drinking, and on when I went to college, and the cops came up and I thought it was legal to drink a beer on the street. Uh, so I gave them my brother's ID, thinking like I'm 21, it's no big deal, and they just start writing me a ticket, and I'm like. Fuck, it's under my brother's name. They're like, here you go, Anthony. And I'm like, uh, so what's this mean? They're like, we'll see you at community service on Monday. I was like, but I'm actually 21. They're like, that doesn't matter, you idiot. My brother's like, you got to go do that community service, dude. So I show up. I'm like, yeah, I'm Anthony. I did like eight hours of community service. Of course, at least you did it. Yeah. I did that collecting social welfare for my brother. Oh, I love that. He fucking moved to Australia. And then he was like, <laughs> he just like never told anyone. So, I, so if we had a deal, I would just go up and be like, <laughs> I'm here for my social welfare. Because in Ireland, you got to like go collect it. You got to go right, in. You got to go to the office. And yeah. I wouldn't even mind. I went in one time and then the fucking, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine who worked in the, in the place, the post office. The same place where you mail shit. Right. He was there. He goes, ah, <laughs> like a good uh, friend of mine. I was like, what's up, Terrell? Are you on the dole, eh? I didn't fucking know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, he was working? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he, and I went in like, oh, I made it nervous. Right. As I, I was like, I'm going to get arrested. Uh-huh. And he was like, don't worry about it. I'll give you your money, dude. I remember once, right? I fucking, I was on the dole, which is the scratcher, mm-hmm. which is, a, the, you know, your social welfare. Yeah, so it wasn't, because everyone's on it in Ireland. If you're like, it's not, there's no like, Shame in it? Not really. No, if you're not working, you better get that money. Fuck exactly. Them. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Uh, and then I didn't have a job for like three months. Got it. Then I got a job. Worked for like four months. Got fired from that job. Started so- collecting again. Signed back on. They fucked up and gave me back pay for the four Ooh. months that I was working. And I went in and I checked it in. And then someone goes, "You're you're doing like two grand." I went, "What?" what? And they were like. They don't spend it. They'll ask for it. And I went, like, yeah! <laughs> See ya. <laughs> bought my flights to America. <laughs> it's funny because I had literally just bought my fucking flights to America like the week or two before that. Which probably fucking bankrupt you, right? Yeah, and then I get that. I was like, Ooh. That's a come up. We call I, that a come up. Dude, I got letters for years asking for me to repay that. And I go, like, okay, here's what we'll do. I'll pay you five. <laughs> that was like two grand I owed the government. Like, I'll give you five grand every month. I'll, I'll give you five dollars, sorry. I'll give you five dollars every month until we pay it off. And they're like, "That's fine." But literally, they're like, "That's fine." And then uh, I don't know what happened. Is like, I think I my bank account might have closed because I don't use it in Ireland. And then it was one time, and I think they just gave up. Yeah. I just think they, just get, they gave up. Ask me. Yeah, there's no IRS in Ireland, right? Well, there is, but it's like, what are they gonna do? Come over here? Yeah. Ah, well, yeah, you got that. And they don't take all the cash. I don't declare. <laughs> <laughs> the IRS are first here, my friend, and they ain't getting nothing either. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Drunk AM, hey. Woo! You want another question? Hey, what's the last question? What was the last question? Was it the uh, never got around celebrity to one? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was the last question, right? Yeah, we just never picked the perfect... No, look, here's the problem. We never picked that perfect celebrity who we know goes nuts. Yeah, yeah. No, no. yeah. We're going to give the people a nice one here. We're having booze. We're, me and the boys, we're all hanging out. We're having a few beers. We're not ahead of Patreon now in a second. And I'm telling you, by the way, the way I'm, I'm speaking it, <laughs> it, might be a, it might be a fucking quick one. Come on, a video. <laughs> Let's watch this live reaction. Now, yeah, but switch to the Patreon with us. We're going to keep doing the questions. Now, do a question now. You want a question now? Okay. Quick question. Quick, quick, quick question. Quick question? Pick a shit one, too. Do you think you have a drinking problem? By Omni Consumer. Cut! <laughs>